Hey, what's up, world? It's me, Woody. And no, I'm not in the hospital. As you see, I'm back in my office. <clears throat> and I thought I'd come to you guys today and share what I've been experiencing for the past couple weeks. Well, actually, for the past few months. Um, and I just want to first say thank you guys for all your prayers and your emails and your inboxes. I can't thank you guys enough <clears throat> for for keeping me lifted up, my family lifted up. And I had to come on today uh, after just getting out of the hospital a couple days now and let you guys know what's going on. So for those of you who don't know, I was recently diagnosed with congestive heart failure. Yes, congestive heart failure. I have not known, I did not know that I even had a heart condition. So. <clears throat> to help some of you out, to help you go through or find out some things, <clears throat> do more research, and because I got a lot of emails, like, like I said, I got a lot of inboxes about, hey, I'm having some of those symptoms. So let's start out. What are the signs and symptoms of congestive heart failure? So first of all, it's very important to go to the doctor. Uh, I did that. My case is a little bit different, and I'm going to talk about it because now I'm wearing this, but I'm going to talk about that a little bit later. Uh, my case is a little bit rare, but still, the basis for congestive heart failure is very, very important, and I think a lot of us is really missing how, how crucial and how important it is to really get diagnosed or get find the right doctor to, uh, to properly evaluate your situation so <clears throat> now the symptoms can also find out which side of the heart is not working properly all right so let's start with the left side if the left side of the heart generally if the left side of the heart is not working well <clears throat> blood and fluid back up into the lungs you will feel short of breath be very tired um, have cough especially at night uh, and, if, and, and in some advanced cases, patients may begin to cough up a pinkish blood tinge, so uh, sputum. Okay? Now, generally, on the right side of the heart, if it's not working right, working well, the, uh, the, the slow blow flow causes a buildup of fluid in your veins. Okay, so when you get this buildup of fluid, your, your feet, your legs, your ankles will begin to swell. The swelling is called edema, okay? Sometimes edema spreads to the lungs, liver, stomach, but also because of the fluid buildup, you may need to urinate more or a lot, often, especially at night, okay? Fluid buildup is also hard to hard on the kidneys. So in effects, it it affects their ability to dispose salt, you know, the sodium that's in it, and water. Uh, which can eventually lead to kidney failure. But but once congestive heart failure is treated, if it's caught in time, your kidney functions can return to normal if it's caught in time. All right? So let's talk about, I'm going to tell you a little bit more uh, other signs and symptoms of congestive heart failure. I was telling you, my situation is a little different, and I'll talk about that uh, later. <clears throat> Tiredness, loss of energy is often the earliest symptoms, Okay? Uh, shortness of breath with with or without activity, you know, just generally walking to the car, uh, unable to lie flat and breathe comfortably, especially at night. Um, and you sleep with two or more pillows and you just can't get comfortable. Rapid or, ir or irregular irregular pulse, um, swelling as I mentioned, swelling in the legs, feet, ankles, edema. That's what that is. Uh, swelling in the abdomen, all right, um, and uh, let's see, chronic dry or frothy cough, meaning sometimes you don't cough up anything, it's just a dry cough, and you can't get rid of it, um, decreased urine output because of the body is retaining fluid, so you can't extract that the urine, uh, unexplained or unintentional rapid weight loss, now, this one is real, real crucial. If you notice your weight goes up 
three pounds in one day, there's a problem. Okay? Uh, and I'll tell you about my situation on that a little bit later. Distended, swollen knees. I mean, neck veins. Uh, my doctor, my cardiologist, could turn my head and look at my veins. I'm like, what, what is that all about? And they, can, they can tell that there's a heart problem by certain activities in your veins. Uh, loss of appetite. Indigestion. A lot of indigestion. Uh, like I said, the swollen abdomen. Uh, cold, sweaty. That, that out of nowhere burst of... It, it can be freezing, but you're bursting out with, with sweats. Uh, your, your skin coloration. It gets real dusky looking. Uh, changes in your behavior. Restlessness, confusion. Decreased attention span. And your memory loss. Very important. Okay? A lot of these signs, I know people are thinking, oh, you know, you're just getting old. No. I started having these condition, these symptoms <clears throat> in my early 40s. Okay? So, this was just a little snippet for you guys to, to, uh, to take. And if you have these symptoms, go see a doctor right away. All right? Let them know that you're having these symptoms. Be persistent about this. If you don't feel that they're listening to you, find another doctor. Okay? It's important that you get somebody who's going to actually take the time, test you, not just write a prescription for a cold or bronchitis for over a year and just push you on, keep you coming back. Another important fact that's needed is the tests that are done to evaluate uh, congestive heart failure. So there's, there's several tests. Um, the, the test for congestive heart failure is a collection of findings. No one test is going to find uh, out the true problems that you may have. So <clears throat> if you have a doctor that's giving you one test, one test, one test, and only that one test, it may not be the right test for you. Most of us go to the doctor and we get an a, a EKG or ECG called electrocardiogram. Uh, and my particular situation, that was not the test. It's not going to find out. So some may hit me the EKG, chest x-rays. Uh, echocardiogram is what I needed. It's not an EKG. It's a, little bit, it's a more advanced technique. Uh, you're talking about a radionuclide test. It's the RVG. And the B, BNP, which is the beta nutrient peptide. So it, everybody's a little different, but you really need to know that if one test is coming back, uh, no problem, no problem, no problem, and you're only doing that one test, it's a possibility you may need to take a different type of test. Uh, so you really need to go in, find out if they can send you in for different tests, different x-rays, different, different things, because... Like I said, each person is going to be a little bit different. And every doctor may only want to do that one cheap test. Okay? So, find being the right test, the right doctors, is crucial. And just be persistent. Okay? So, this is just to get you started uh, with some symptoms and everything. And like I said, I'm going to come back later on and talk to you more in depth. Uh, more specifics to my situation, but these are symptoms that you guys need to take and follow very carefully. So I want to see you guys in the future. If you have any questions, please inbox me here at uh, Woody and Angela. Please, uh, uh, you can send out emails. All the information are in the links below, and I'm going to have some uh, free information for you guys in links below for you to uh, resources for you guys to check out. You can download them on your phone, you can download them on your computer, but do so, okay? Because we need to do better, all right? So until next time, thanks, and thank you for your prayers, all right? Have a blessed day.